Hey there everybody, welcome to the channel. We're talking about removing noise in your photography, especially wildlife, since that's pretty much what I do for the most part. This also works for your uh, portraiture or sports, aviation, etc. Now there is a link down in the description. If you use that, I do get a kickback and I really appreciate that. I just want to be upfront about that in this video. But I am not sponsored by DxO. This is all my own opinion and uh, I got this uh, software out of my own wallet. I was not given it for this review. And if you're interested, I did do a review on Topaz AI a while ago. Uh, so if you click up here, there'll be a little drop down for that. And I also did a most recent comparison review of DxO, Topaz AI, and the new Lightroom Denoise update. So with all that being said, we're going to head out to Lake Wilhelm at Goddard State Park where we're going to take the kayak out and try and get some wildlife shots to test this out on. Well, now that we got a couple shots to throw in the DxO Pure Raw 3, we'll see what we get out of it. This is an exceptionally uh, useful program for people that shoot the affordable telephoto lenses, like the Sigma 150 to 600, etc., that have a fast aperture of 6.3. Because even on days like today, you're probably going to be shooting at 800 to 1000 ISO to freeze bird feathers when they're flying or anything like that at 1 2,000, 1 2,500 of a second. So we'll get right into it. We'll show you where to buy it, how to install it, and whenever you register it, and then how to put your images into DxO from Lightroom. So as we get started here, if you want to click the link in the description, and it'll take you right to DxO to make your purchase. If not, just head straight to DxO.com and make your purchase there. You just open it up, go to the buy, and you have to make an account. And then once you make an account, you can make the purchase for your account that's attached to you only. Then at checkout, put all your information in, and then you will get the automatic confirmation that your order went through. And you can do this for Windows or Mac. And you'll get an email with your activation code and your download link. And since this is a Mac, it will automatically download, and then you just click Load DXO Pure Raw Package. And just follow the normal prompts that you usually have when installing software on your Mac or Windows using the wizards. And then when you're done, just click continue and finish and it will do it all itself. No big problems there whatsoever. Once installation is successful, just click finish and it open it up yourself. Once you open the program, you will be prompted to put in your activation code that was in your email. And once that's done, you will be ready to go. So here we have the main interface of DxO. You can drag and drop files into here and it's pretty self-explanatory. So it's not technically a plugin, it's a separate uh, program that runs in parallel with Lightroom. But whenever you first start it, you wanna go into your options and make sure DNG is selected for raw files. Make sure the custom folder is not selected and you have DxO folder to the original image files and it will be exported to Lightroom Classic. So thankfully we uh, got a couple good shots while out on the kayak. So we're gonna jump in and just edit these seven images real quick with uh, DxO. And we'll talk about the before and after and everything else. So we'll just, uh, we'll start with this eagle one. You've probably seen in the very beginning of the uh, video there. As you can see, pretty heavy crop. We're at 100% on that this is already slightly edited and there's a lot of grain or noise in the wings here it's not very sharp it's just kind of all over the place this is uh 600 millimeters 130 200 of a second and 800 iso with such a heavy crop i'm pretty inclined to do a um enhance on this now we are on an m1 air 2020 and the super resolution is going to take 15 seconds. 
fucking hands. Wait for it. Now the one thing that I really do like about DxO Pure Raw 3 for this specifically is uh, you can denoise enhanced images. So here we have our enhanced image right here. So for example, if you want to denoise this with the built-in denoise in Lightroom, you can't. Denoise is not currently compatible with this photo format. So it does not work. Now Adobe has mentioned that they are considering adding this feature in the future, but for right now, as if uh, May 20th, 2023, it is not possible. So we will toss that in the uh, DxO program. Open it up and it will give you an update. If there's anything there, you can click update or skip this update. Since I don't have any of these cameras, it doesn't really matter. What we're gonna do is drag this enhanced RAW file with the Eagle right into DxO and we'll click process now. Personally, I always use Deep Prime XD as it gives you a higher, uh, more powerful version, which produces enhanced details. And then, as I mentioned earlier, DNG, DxO folder in the original images, this way it stays with the original in your uh, Lightroom catalog, and then it will be exported automatically to Adobe Classic. And it says estimate processing time 28 seconds. So another comparison to Lightroom's denoise is it is a lot longer on my machine. And then at the bottom here, you can see the processing window and your estimated remaining time. So now that we're done, you can click view results and it will show you a preview of the image or you can go back to Lightroom and you can scroll down to find your image. So over here, it shows you your folders, it's 2023, May 15th, and it puts a DxO folder in your Lightroom catalog for the day the image was taken. So that's pretty nice. So we'll just import that. And it automatically gives it a new name, which doesn't bother me too much, but that might bother someone else. And then here we go. That is the need denoised version. So we'll do a little comparison here. This is the original. This is the DxO version. So we'll just do a quick edit on this so that it's comparable. Okay, so we have a before and after. This is the original file from the camera, and this is the DxO uh, denoise image that has a five second edit on top of it. Now, as we can see, there's a lot less noise in the feathers. There's some details brought back. You can actually see its eyes and face and beak a little bit better. Detail on the catfish that it's carrying with its claws. The difference is pretty wild. And I do believe it gives you a little bit more leniency in your editing whenever you edit a DxO file after it's converted. Just to show a time comparison of this, we're gonna go down here and try and denoise this with the original image with uh, Lightroom to show you the time difference. So this says estimated time three minutes. Meanwhile, DxO did it in 30 seconds. Your mileage may vary depending on what kind of hardware you're using, but generally I have found that DxO is a little bit faster for everyone. So now we're going to do a bulk edit and show how that works. So just select all the images you wanna do a bulk edit on, go back, to DxO, and we have, what's that, six images. That'll be about three minutes, and that'll process now. Select the same thing as before. So here we go at the bottom. Yep, look at that, three minutes. So here in the full unlocked version of DxO, you have an unlimited amount of how many images you can put through in a batch, but if you use the 30-day trial, you're limited to 10 photos per batch. Okay, so this will be the first one that I like to do. This was a bluebird from the kayak. That was a pretty cool little thing to find. This is a bit extreme. I took a break along a uh, part of the lake and was just sitting on the bank and there's this bluebird kind of hanging out in the understory. So it was pretty, pretty dark under there. I was waiting for him to take off and fly, but he didn't. He just sat there and watched me. So that's why I was at one two thousandth of a second and 16,000 ISO. 
So yeah, 16,000 ISO. And then this is the DXO version. I'd call that pretty cleaned up. Yep, pretty cleaned up. This is the original. Here's the DXO. And then we can look at the before and after. This was only 800 ISO on this Heron, but it definitely cleaned it up, sharpened up, brought some detail in. There wasn't a whole lot of detail on the wings to start, I don't think. Okay, next, this Osprey, one of my favorites. Then we'll do a little before or after. No contest on the uh, Osprey here. Didn't even finish the edit. So here at the end, we're going to do a roll through and show you a couple other examples as they pop up and swipe across, showing you before and after. So I don't bore you to death with too much editing to watch so you can just see how the program's final images compare. With this new software, you won't have to worry about your high ISO with affordable telephoto lenses that have an aperture of 6.3 or thereabouts. And this kind of software would really work out with Canon's RF lenses that are like the 600 prime and the 800 prime. that are like F11 and more. So if you've enjoyed the video and it was very helpful for you, I really welcome you to like and subscribe to the channel and the video and hit the bell notification so you can see what's coming up next time whenever I publish a video.